Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. The Ledger Nano S is one of the best hardware wallets available to securely and safely store your cryptocurrencies offline. Ripple is one of the cryptocurrencies that are supported by this hardware wallet. And while there are a number of software wallets that are very good that support storing your XRP, um, I've covered a number of those in the past, including the Toast wallet and the Exodus Eden wallet. That's the advanced version of Exodus. Um, if you are looking for something to be able to take it offline, uh, it's always a good idea if you're thinking long-term storage, uh, want to be able to put it on something like a ledger. Um, so today I'm going to walk through how to get the Ripple wallet up and running on your Ledger Nano S. So to do that, you are going to need to download and install the Ripple app for your Ledger Nano S. So to get that, you can go to ledgerwallet.com and click on the apps icon. I'll put the, uh, the link to the Ledger Wallet website in the description below. And when you go down to the apps page, it, if you scroll down, you will find that there are wallet apps and management apps. So the the wallet apps are the apps that you need to actually be able to interface, have a send and receive function. They look much like any typical software wallet that you would work with. The management apps are the apps that allow you to, to add apps onto your ledger device itself. So down here in the lower right hand corner, I have an image of my Ledger Nano S. If you scroll through, by default, the device comes with Bitcoin and Ethereum, and those are the only apps that are uh, installed when you uh, first receive your device. Here I've added Litecoin as one uh, additional coin here. If you want to add anything else, then what you need is to download the Ledger Manager. So you can click on Ledger Manager and that will take you to a page where you can get the app, you can click download, it will take you to the bottom of the page, you can install this for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Click install. This will take you to the Chrome Web Store. So this is really, this app runs within Google Chrome. So it runs within your browser. Um, I currently already have this installed, but you could just click um, add this to Chrome. So this is what the uh, what it looks like when you run the Ledger Manager. So you can see that there are a number of cryptocurrencies that are available. So all of these are options that you can add to your Ledger Nano S. We are going to add Ripple. So I click on the arrow to download this and installing application. So when you do this, um, it will say, if asked, confirm on your device. So often you will see this pop up on your device that you will get a, a confirmation. Uh, so it took a second, but now it's processing on here. Uh, it, it often will ask you if you, uh, if you want to confirm or not. Um, and if you do that, you confirm by clicking the um, the, bot, the button on the right, this button is your confirm button, and the left button is your uh, cancel button. Um, I've had the Ripple app on my Ledger Nano S before and uh, uninstalled it, and that's why it didn't prompt me this time. But if you need to confirm, you just click the right button and then it will be installed. So now we have the Ripple app on our Ledger Nano S. So now we need a software wallet on our computer to actually be able to send and receive uh, Ripple uh, from our device. So let's go back to the Ledger Wallet apps page and there is a separate software wallet just for Ripple on the Ledger website. So that is the Ledger Wallet for Ripple. This is compatible with the Nano S and the Blue from Ledger. So let's click on that. We can say get the app. It takes us down to the bottom of the page. This is currently available for Mac OS. Um, that's what I'm running. So I'm going to click download and I can download the package. Um, it's 74 megabytes, uh, so not too long for a download. Um, I, I do already have this installed. So rather than 
having to go through the whole installation. It's just a pretty standard installation. This is a typical Mac package file. I am going to open the Ledger wallet for Ripple so that we can try to send and receive. One thing that I have noticed in my experience with the Ledger is that if you have the Ledger Manager and one of the software wallets open at the same time, you will get a number of errors. It will say that it can't synchronize um, and it, things just don't seem to work properly. That goes for installing new apps on the device, um, being able to work with your software wallet, deleting apps from the device. So what I recommend is that you actually close out the Ledger Manager when you want to open up the software wallet. So this is what the software wallet for Ripple looks like. Um, so it'll take just a second to synchronize, get up and running. So once this opens up, it will say to begin, connect and unlock your Ledger wallet, uh, and then open the Ripple app on your device. So my device is currently unlocked, and to open up one of these apps, you have to click both buttons at the same time, making sure you guys can see that. So I'm clicking both buttons here on the top, and that will open up uh, my wallet. And so now you can see that I have my XRP available. So um, I just installed this on the device, so I don't have any balance at this point. So you have your send, I can send my XRP, you have a receive button, so I can um, tell it if I had some XRP in my wallet currently, I could send that from here, I could put in my address, uh, there's a small fee to pay for this, and then just click send. So it works pretty much like any software wallet that you would expect at this point. So that's all it takes to get the Ledger Nano S up and running with Ripple. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, if you are interested in more cryptocurrency videos like this, please click the subscribe button. And thanks to all of you who have already subscribed to the channel. Um, if this video was helpful, please also give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.